Hello everyone, welcome back to another video. My name is Jared Beckwith and in today's video, I'm talking about how to do an EEG on a patient with super matted hair. Now, I had an experience today. I was hooking up a long-term patient, someone who is on the EEG for more than 24 hours and they have the electrodes actually glued onto their scalp. And this one was actually a kind of difficult case. I mean, obviously I got through it pretty easily since I've been doing this for a while, but if I was a student, I would definitely need help from my supervisor. And I was thinking, hmm, why don't I just make a video here and give you guys some helpful tips if you're a student or super new into EEG, hooking up wires to the patient's scalp, I can give you guys the trade secrets since I've been doing it for about a year and a half now. So with the matted hair, um, with hair in general, like women's hair, you're gonna have to be able to part the hair in order to get to the scalp. So when you put your electrode on, first you clean the scalp with these couple Q-tips and some soapy solution. You scrub the spots, scrub it firm, make sure you're getting to the spot, and then you apply the electrode on to the scalp with the paste right where you scrubbed. So in order to get to the scalp, um, with women who have long hair, it's easy to just, I take my Q-tips and I turn them around to this side and I use this to kind of like pick through the hair to move it out of the way. And another thing I do when I'm scrubbing, I'm kind of like moving the hair out of the way too when I'm scrubbing now that I think about it. But the main way that I part the hair is with the back of my Q-tips. Pretty genius, right? The uh, thing is, I don't even know where I learned this. I kind of just, I was probably watching them, watching my supervisors and probably just picked it up. Or I've just done hundreds of EEGs and just found that this is the best way to do it. So with this patient with super matted hair, you look at it, it's all balled up in the back and there's no way you're getting to the scalp. If you're not getting to the scalp, you're not getting a good connection and you're not gonna have your impedances under 5,000 ohms or at least 10,000 ohms if you're a beginner. So to get back there, you just, turn the Q-tips around and just start digging. As a student, I would have been super scared and not want to dig very hard, but if the hair is matted like that, like extremely matted, let's say like a developmentally delayed person who isn't always like brushing their hair, I would say a homeless person. If you work in a hospital, you're gonna see all different types of people, literally every type of person. So you're, you usually don't see very matted hair in the back, but in this case, yes, I found very matted hair and I had to really part the hair and able to, I barely was able to make like a little circle just big enough for the electrode and then I kind of like slide it into the little hole that I've been digging away trying to create. So I just slide the electrode in the hole and then with the gluing part, putting the gauze on top of the, the uh, electrode to glue them on for more than 24 hours, this was kind of difficult in this situation at least because since there's barely even a hole, then usually when you put the gauze, you want to part the hair so you can get the gauze onto the scalp and that's what makes it stick. If you put the gauze on top of the hair, it'll easily lift up and it's not going to stay on for more than 24 hours. Your coworkers are going to have to go fix it later. They're going to be pissed. <laughs> so I hope mine stayed on well. So I feel like I've made a big enough area so I at least got a good part of the gauze onto the scalp. So I hope it's still on. I hooked it up this morning. I hope it's still on, guys. Hopefully. If I if my skills are as good as I think they are, I think it's still on and I think it's still a beautiful record. And that's just my little tip here on how to part the hair. Just turn the Q-tips backwards and just, just dig through it. Don't be scared to aggressively go through the hair and part the hair when you're placing the electrodes on because if you don't and you place it on top of the hair, it's gonna have no connection and you're not gonna be able to start the test until you get under 5,000 or 10,000 ohms. So part the hair if you're a beginner, slap the electrode onto the scalp. You're, you're gonna get better connections. You're gonna get better quality readings for the doctor. They're gonna be really thankful for that. And you're just gonna have an easier time hooking up patients to an EEG overall. So that's my quick little tip for the day just because I had a little patient like that. So I was thinking, oh, make a video about it, just document it, because it definitely would have helped me if I was a student. If you're experienced, you probably just do this instinctively and you're like, yeah, I could do this. 
but for my less experienced people, mostly people on my YouTube channel who just find my videos that way, uh, I think they'll get a lot out of this video. And if you did, make sure you hit the like button. It makes me know that I should make more of these videos. And thank you all for watching. I appreciate you guys, and I'll see you all on the next video.